Hey, I'm Ted from Forno. So one of the reasons that I love to bake at home is just making bread for other people, whether they're coming over for dinner or as a gift. But when I want to bake for other people, I'm trying to knock their socks off. And how do you knock somebody's socks off with a loaf of bread? Stencils. A stencil. Bread that's adorned with stencil work is a really fun way to unleash a little bit more creativity. Don't keep it in a cage. Let it out. Let the creativity out. To stencil your bread using the Forno Grand is really easy to do. It works out great when you're using a banneton. Here I've got a loaf of no-knead bread that's been proofing in the refrigerator. Take your Forno tray, flip it over on the banneton, and then flip the banneton over so that the loaf comes right out onto the tray. You can score your bread first, or you can score it after stenciling, but it's important to make sure that you put the stencil right onto the bread. That'll give you the best transfer of your flour or other colored powder that you're adding. So here I'm gonna put some white rice flour onto this rye pomegranate and cacao loaf, sprinkling it on with a little mesh strainer. And then we'll lift that up and we've got our pattern. So, next thing to do, score the bread so that it has a place to expand. And then we'll throw this into the oven. It's that easy. Hopefully, with this message, we'll have some luck in the oven. A super cute puppy stencil. Puppy stencil bread. Oh, there we go. We should eat this. <laughs>